I should have gone to the bathroom and also refill in my water, but I kind of want to just get these things out of the way. Also, it's 8.40 a.m. I want to try to finish all my videos before Greg Manor, you know, this video drops. So, so yeah, uh, the space is pretty dead right now, crypto especially. Uh, it took me a little bit of effort to actually find a tomb fork that was not dead, right? Right, because uh, a lot of projects are quote unquote still alive, but you know, you know, is it still alive? Oh, I like that BG song. I better not say because I don't want a stupid copyright claim. And uh, the TVL is like, you know, nothing or like 3,000. You know, basically dead project. So I finally found something here. And I was like, oh, Milko Media Cardano, all right? So that probably means it should actually be doing okay because they're basically like one of the few tomb forks, if not the only one on Milko Media. So they have all the money of themselves. And yeah, this looks pretty good. Now their website is actually kind of like screwy. All right, when I zoom out at 100%, it just looks really weird. Oh, actually, yeah, this is 80%. Okay, so actually, yeah, it's because I'm zooming out. Yeah, so their website's kind of screwed up, but whatever. It, it basically works. <clears throat> All right, so the links are on the upper right. There's also a bridge to multi-chain seller, so I click that link. It's on the upper right corner. Oh, yeah, it takes me to this, so... Yeah, so it's still like a relatively new blockchain, obviously, all right? And if you remember, I did a video on Milko Media, Milk Shiba, right? Which, unfortunately, is more or less a dead project. Uh, but, you know, we made good, well, I made good money off of it, so hopefully everyone else did, too. Especially with the PvP battles, right? We definitely got a lot of Cardano out of that. So... All right, so anyway, this is pretty much at peg, and Cardano is doing pretty well. And funny enough, the price action of their shares and peg token actually mirror what the crypto mark currency markets have been doing. So everything's doing pretty well and going up. This is doing pretty well and going up as well. I have to actually zoom in a little more because this is the share chart. So yeah, it actually looks pretty good. And on top of that, the share price is only six dollars and fifty cents. So you know, it should be. Everything should actually be fairly priced. All right. Hmm. I don't think this page updates in real time. Excuse me. I don't think this updates in real time. All right. So the TVL is like pretty decent. And well, lo and behold, this thing actually is, you know, doesn't have to make me work hard. All right. So the peg token is called RAV. Our share is the thingy. Okay. All right. So... All right, let's take a look. TVL, all right, so we're doing, I'm pretty sure this is using the Smart APR system. Okay. Uh, yes, this is using the Smart APR system. Let me think. If I double the TVL and the R shares, this is 2.25% approximately. Double that again, one point. Yeah, this is using the, T, uh, the smart APR system because RAV single stake counts as a full stack and then RAV R share, you have to take half of this, okay. Yeah, so this does use the smart APR system. Uh, then there's copycat of this for some reason. Occam LP, and then there's also a Milk Geese Swap LP version of the same thing. So this definitely is using the because if I actually would use, I personally would be using Milk Geese Swap because that's what I'm used to because that's what I use for Milk Sheba because that's what the instructions are. I just got used to that. You can also earn tokens by staking Rav. Uh, so if you deposit these single stake tokens, you can get the US dollar circles for this. And this ends in a little bit of time, 27 days and 23 hours. Oh, okay. So that's actually pretty smart too. And then of course the Genesis pools are done. So we don't have to look at that. All right. So whoever made this project obviously knows what they're doing. looks pretty good. And they're using a smart APR system, which basically means for those of you who are new, I developed a uh, APR system to analyze tomb forks, right? Whether it will be good or not, and basically what that means is the share of rewards, because that's how tomb forks work, is they generate shares 
most of the share rewards have to go towards the base peg token, which in this case is RAV. Because as long as the base peg token is in demand and is worth something, people will buy the shares. And people will buy the shares because then they go into the boardroom and stake it to get more of the peg token and it has a positive cycle, right? Tomb Forks usually, the first reason why Tomb Forks die is because they don't do the smart APR system. So their peg token goes to zero and then everything else gets pulled down with it. Now, even with the smart APR system, a Tomb Fork can still fail. But the idea is, at least with the smart APR system, you can delay that by a lot. And then, you know, it's up to a dev to keep the project going. So, you know, uh, if I were still in the Tomb Forks, yeah, I'd probably do this. But of course, I have to manually compound this. So that's an extra window in my Chrome pad, right? But so I around that, I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of this into it. Uh, because I actually have Cardano reserves. So if I wanted more Cardano, I would definitely do this tube for it. So not a bad project. Looks pretty good. All right. And more importantly, it's probably one of the few projects on Milko Media, uh, Cardano blockchain. So it absorbs all the money that happens to come into this blockchain because, you know, first mover advantage. If you don't have first mover advantage, then they have early movers advantage. That's still a thing. Right. Just because you didn't get there first, I mean, there's like, for example, if everyone wants McDonald's, right, because they want hamburgers and they were there first. I mean, you're not necessarily screwed. Right. What if you're the second guy there? Throw up a Burger King. Well, guess what? People like Burger King. Right. They'll, they'll, they'll come in here uh, fast food joint because people really want those effing burgers. Right. Oh, McDonald's is crowded. I can't get my Big Mac fix. OK, well, I'll get a Whopper. Then, all right. That's not going to happen if you're not there. Right. So, you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. I mean, there's a reason why you, when you go shopping, you see multiple stores selling basically the same kind of uh, type of item, right? There are multiple burger joints. There are multiple hot dog stands. There are multiple clothing stores, right? You get the idea. All right. Well, I already went over the price, so it looks really good. It's actually The peg token is actually tracking Cardano. And it looks like today will be a very good day for the cryptocurrency markets, too. In fact, I'm hoping we might finally see Bitcoin at like 31 grand. It's very slow. But you know what? I'm all right with it. I'll take any gains, all right? I'll I'll take anything, all right? And you know what? The stock markets are doing really well. I think they're still doing. Yeah, they're doing it phenomenal. So Greg Manorino is gonna be very happy. Like we needed this. We needed this, all right? If we didn't get this, we were effed. We were completely screwed. But thank God, all right? Thank God. And money is literally leaving the debt market and flowing into stuff. And look at that, we're still below the 3%. So yeah, today is going to be really good. Tomorrow will probably be good. And then maybe a little pullback on Thursday because Greg Manorino wants to see a pullback. I, don't, I actually don't, right? I don't care. I just want everything to go straight up. But whatever, I'll take anything. All right, so if you like what you saw, read, or heard, that's the old way I used to say it. Like, subscribe, share this video around with your friends and family. I'm going to start saying that now. Thank you again to all the old and new people. I still need a stretch, but we got one more video to do. So i got to find a random Titano fork. Yeah, assuming there's any one, there's anyone left that's still legit that I haven't covered. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think Titan has launched yet. And, uh, uh, yeah, but otherwise, you know, let's keep growing the channel. Thank you again for watching. And, um, oh, yeah, and F you to that one guy that's rage watching my videos and just automatically downloading my videos. You know, go after yourself. You know, you're, you're going to be a stupid effing loser. Just, just, just get out. All right. So it's only one person, though. So, but, yeah, I mean, chances are the person has already left. So, but just in case. But, again, thank you to all the people who are not a-holes. All right. And then, uh, yeah, if you're still in the Tomb Forks, uh, definitely check out... Oh, yeah, I didn't even know what the name of this was. Ravelin Finance. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's doing pretty well. And again, the share price is actually at a reasonable price. So, all right, I guess I, I can't complain. But yeah, I would do this project if I just had free time. All right, I actually just don't have that. So, I mean, I, I'm even passing up the Law of Spices. I just published a video on YouTube, uh, Crops Farmer, for it, because it's an actual, it's an exact copy of Crops Farmer. So I already know it's going to work, right? Uh, and it's from a legit team, from, from the way it looks, right? So, I mean, it's basically a no-brainer. But I, even though I'm not doing that because I just have too many things open. And I'm, I'm really waiting out for the next Crops Farmer, 
you know, expansion, which I'm hoping should be AVAX. I really hope they do AVAX, especially now that Krabata game is out. AVAX gas fees are actually reasonable again, all right? At least until the next prick comes along and hogs the entire blockchain for themselves. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we're coming at like 10 minutes and 20 seconds.